two cases, we just show them to K9 rise. This is really high. Uh, as far as we can. Now we have to reduce the opposing. So we wax up. So basically we do have a pretty good amount of the room. I said this is we did it. Here. It's a really big size of the tool. Alright, so practice. Choose a new to me. Crown is better. Crown, crown, crown. Yeah. Yeah. So, one. Especially here. Right a little bit more. And I can close the gap in between here.
After we finish the lower, okay. and then trying to get the concentric contact with the canine rises so after finish the restoration. So, patients can see this huge difference between between before and then after. Okay, so this is wax up. We're trying to make the two unit decrease the width. This is to make the other two unique cases. This is the final work. All right, so like I mentioned before, uh, this is no prep with the canine both sides and prep the teeth, prep the teeth the other side. And then we mounting with the, the um, Artex articulations. So first we finish the lower, sorry, this is I put the white strip. This is not falling apart. But as you can see, the lowers I made the 22 through 27, which is Lisi Cosmic Press. And then here is a posterior, the gen enamel, which is monolithic. The once we finish this is upper, as you, I showed to this my preparation. So now first we can decrease the width about the anterior side. And then we trying to make the same proportion of the tools is lateral canine compared to before. And then we just make the two unit as, as as narrow as possible because it has a gap, actually. So I'm trying to cut it and then make the good illusion of the tooth. So I'm trying to decrease the width. Okay. So we make the two unit. But however, I make the this three unit more grinding over there. So make three three unit is better for the good proportion of the tooth. So this one is large, so I move to. This uh, majorly, so make the good cosmetic design to that compared to this. So compared to grindings, my stone model, and then after finish it, this is what look like. Okay, so after we finish this, then we check the occlusion, just like here. That's here. So I can take it out. So you can see the old movement. Here, then you can get. Okay, so whenever I open the back side, and then I can move it like this. So this is the patient can get the canine rise, which is non-function the other size. Okay, pre back here. All right. So when it, this is a protrusion. Anyway, that's the final aesthetics, which is lower, and then this is diagnostic, and the doctor will go into prep, and then make temporization like that. Okay, so this is the, after I take it out, the wax up, strip line, and then you can see with the merging together, so about three month plan wax up, a little bit, and uh, with the final lower, don't confuse, this is the wax, this is the old ceramic with a good amount of a translucency. Right, so this is that patient can get the occlusion content. Right? Just like that. So I'm pretty sure it's a great the occlusion contact. So after they cement it, then I can wait for the upper. This is cuspidized. This is the final. Nice. Subscribe to Luke Kong's Patreon for private ongoing training for dental technicians, lab owners, and aspiring lab owners.
as well as valuable education from a lab site perspective for dentists. For just $25 a month, you can train with Luke Kong online via live videos, with live chat, Q&A sessions, and ongoing dialogue exclusively on Patreon. This offer is ideal for dental lab technicians, lab owners, aspiring lab owners, and dentists. Subscribe today.